Hey, welcome or welcome back. My name is Rebecca and on this channel I have lots of things here for you to enhance or start your own home yoga practice. Today's practice is going to be a sort of guided imagery or guided relaxation called Yoga Nidra. And Yoga Nidra is Sanskrit for yogic sleep. And all you need is a comfortable place to lie down, keep your head elevated about 45 degrees if possible, and maybe a pair of headphones so that you can listen to this without being disrupted. If you've been feeling anxious and you'd like to change some of the thoughts that you're having, then this practice is for you. Hey, my name is Rebecca, and today we're going to do a practice that is a guided relaxation that will help you reduce anxiety, not just temporarily while you're doing the practice, but it will help you with for the next 24 hours or even longer. This is called a yoga nidra, or also known as yogic sleep. It's a practice that helps us get into a deep state of relaxation, and it allows us to access different layers of the subconscious mind that we normally wouldn't act, be able to access in our normal waking state. So if you're new to Yoga Nidra or you've never practiced before, let me tell you, first things first, you'll need to figure out what it is that you'd like to change, acquire, or be. And you need to come up with a resolve or also known as a sankalpa in Sanskrit. The resolve is a statement that you would say to yourself in the beginning and the end of the practice. So the resolve also needs to be stated in the present tense. So it can't have any negative words in it and it can't, and I mean it like you can't say, I don't want to do this. You'd have to figure out what the opposite or the positive statement of that would be. The subconscious mind doesn't understand positive or negative, it just understands concepts and imagery. So if you don't have a resolve yet, go ahead and pause this video and take a moment to figure out what your statement would be. So an example would be, I am calm and confident knowing that I am always safe and supported. The other thing that you should know is that Yoga Nidra is practiced lying down. And if you're a beginner, I don't recommend lying flat. I recommend lying on something comfortable with your head propped up and elevated, maybe at 45 degrees, so that you don't fall asleep. You wanna stay awake for the practice, alert, listening, but totally relaxed. So go get your things, get ready, make your space comfortable and relaxed and figure out what your resolve is going to be. So go ahead and pause the video and come back when you're ready. Okay, now that you're all set, let's get started. Become aware of the sounds in the distance. Listen to the sounds that are the furthest away from you. Follow the sounds for a few seconds. Move your attention from sound to sound. Gradually bring your attention to closer sounds. And sounds inside of the room. Without opening your eyes, visualize the four walls, the ceiling, the floor, and become aware of your body lying in place. Become aware of where your body is inside the room. Commit to perfect stillness.
and become aware of the natural breath. And keep listening to my voice, knowing that this practice was specifically designed to calm the nerves and reduce anxiety, not just for the duration of the practice, but when you finish to carry around with you for the rest of the day. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. And this is the time to make your resolve. You should state your resolve to yourself with feeling three times. Now we'll begin the rotation of consciousness. All you have to do is listen to my voice and allow your awareness to jump from body part to body part. Right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, Lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left side, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right buttock, left buttock, the spine, the whole of the back together, top of the head, forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the eyebrow center, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, nose, tip of the nose, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest, left chest, middle of the chest, navel, abdomen, lower abdomen, whole right leg, whole left leg, both legs together, whole right arm, Whole left arm, both arms together, whole back side of the body, whole front side of the body, whole head, legs, arms, back, front, head, the whole body together. 
the whole body together. The whole body together. Starting round two, going back to the right hand thumb. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger. Palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, left hip, left thigh, knee, calf muscle, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right buttock, left buttock, the spine, the whole back together, top of the head, forehead, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, eyebrow center, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, nose, tip of the nose, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right chest, left chest, middle of the chest, navel, abdomen, lower abdomen, whole right leg, whole left leg, both legs, whole right arm, whole left arm, both arms, whole back side of the body, whole front side of the body, whole head, legs, arms, back, front, head, the whole body together, the whole body together, 
Now bring your awareness to the body and notice all of the points of where the body is touching the surface you're lying on. Notice where the feet and the heels are touching, your calves, your buttocks, your shoulder blades, your elbows and hands, and the back of your head. Feel all of the meeting points between your body on the surface. Bring your awareness to those points and feel them. Now bring your attention to your eyelids. Feel the narrow line of meeting between the upper and lower eyelid. Next, bring your awareness to the lips and the meeting point between the upper and lower lip. Next, draw your attention to the natural ingoing and outgoing breath. Feel the breath moving along the passage between the navel and the throat. On the inhalation, it rises from the navel to the throat. On the exhalation, it descends from the throat to the navel. Become completely aware of the breath. Don't force it, just awareness. Maintain your awareness and at the same time, start counting your breaths backwards as follows. I am breathing in 33. I'm breathing out 33. I'm breathing in 32. I'm breathing out 32. I'm breathing in 31. I'm breathing out 31, and so on. Count backwards from 33 to 1. Count to yourself mentally as you follow the rise and fall of your breath from navel to throat and back again. Total awareness of breathing and counting. The breathing is slow and relaxed. Please continue counting. Check to make sure you are awake. Say to yourself, I am awake. Withdraw your mind and concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyes. Imagine before you a transparent screen through which you can see infinite space a space that extends as far as the eyes can see. 
Concentrate in this dark space and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of the space, but don't become involved. Practice detached awareness only. Next, imagine yourself at a beach on a warm, sunny day. It's early in the morning. You're wearing red shorts and a white shirt. It's breezy and you can taste the salt spray in the air from crashing waves as the tide rolls in. Bring your awareness to your feet, your bare feet, as they touch the sand while you walk. You stop walking and you use your hands to dig a hole. You start scooping the sand with your hands one by one, one scoop at a time and you make a hole big enough for both of your feet. Place a beach chair right next to the hole. Take a seat and put both of your feet into the hole that you just dug out with your hands. Cover up your feet one handful of sand at a time. Continue to fill up the hole until your feet are buried. The sand feels cool on your feet, and it feels refreshing. You're now sitting in your chair with your feet buried in the sand, and you feel the breeze and hear the seagulls as the waves crash on the water laps at the sand. Next, use your imagination. As I state the object or place, use your imagination to recreate it in your mind. Orange clay mud. White sands. Little clams digging back into the sand. early sunrise over a forest, bird's eye view of a canyon, leaves on a tree, a field of blooming lavender, raking leaves on the ground, chips of tree bark, a carved stone statue, your birthstone, sunlight shining through a prism 
and reflecting on the wall. Planting bulbs in the garden. Walking through the woods. Planting a tree. Watching water flow in a stream. A bird nest. Bring your awareness back to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. Watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with detachment. Rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. If any subtle phenomena manifests, like colors or patterns, simply take note and continue with your awareness. Now remember your resolve from the beginning. Repeat that same resolve you made at the beginning of the practice with the same words and the same feeling. Repeat your resolve now three times clearly with feeling and emphasis. Become aware of your breathing. Begin to deepen your breath. Bring your awareness to your arms and legs. Your awareness to your whole body. Lie quietly for a few breaths, keeping your eyes closed. And when you're ready, start moving your body. Take your time. When you're sure that you're wide awake, sit up slowly and open your eyes. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Thank you for taking the time out of your day for self-care and thank you for practicing Yoga Nidra with me. If you enjoyed the practice, be sure to hit the like button so YouTube remembers it in your liked videos. If you'd like to practice again with me, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks and have a great day.